神だ Oh, damn, it's a damn ransom note, man. Somebody kidnapped Saori. What's up, guys? It's Selaviathan, and we're back with another reaction. <laughs> Today, we are continuing up the uh, sports extreme anime Tribe 9. <laughs> I'm gonna admit it. Um, it's been a while since I've watched some Tribe 9 episodes kind of been a bit delayed on that Um, just had to like finish up some other stuff. So um, Going forward from now on, you know We're gonna try to straight shot Tribe 9 all the way until the season finale, but it's still ongoing So I'm off the hook at least there <laughs> anyway um, Recapping up episode 3 we met the Oturi family and more importantly we met Ojiro the guy who was the representative of the Oturi family and we ended up getting into a match with the Minato tribe and the Oturi tribe or whatever they're called I don't think they're called the Oturi tribe but they're the royal family <laughs> anyway um, we got the the one-man army Ojiro over here kind of just taking on the whole Minato tribe and Unfortunately throughout the whole match we end up losing so it sucks Because upon losing there is a condition where the Minato tribe has to be disbanded After so that sucks, you know Ojiro kind of took them all out But it's gonna be really interesting to see how it's things are gonna go forward going into the next episodes here because really interested to see if um at the very least, you know, um, if the tribe is still together or they're kind of like they're going their own separate ways and stuff like that. So episodes four is going to be really interesting to see what, what happens there. Um, we're going to get started with that, though. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below as well. So, you know, when I upload next, it's critical. And make sure you also check out the Patreon. You know, you get full uncut reactions of this show, many, many other stuff such as movies, TV shows, anime. Honestly, check it out. It's only a dollar for basically all access, so very worth it. <laughs> but without further ado, though, we are going to get started with Tribe 9 Episode 4. It feels like it's been a while since I watched this last, so we definitely going to have a doozy with this one. Let's go. Wait, what? How are we how are we gonna start this how are we gonna start the episode like that? We never saw Kamiya's death coming? What? Oh my god, you even got Taiga here kinda of feeling all depressed and sad and shit because of Kamiya's death. Like what? <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, you know what? I said I said this episode was gonna be uh, a very unexpected episode that was gonna have something that I wouldn't expect, and yeah, Kamiya's death was something that I just did not expect. I guess and like last episode we didn't see anything in regards to that, so why did it just suddenly go into this? <laughs> You know, when I heard that the Minato tribe was going to be disbanded, I didn't think it was going to be followed by a death of a character. This is just so random. It's like, it's, I'm still like in kind of like in shock right now. Oh, was this when they were, I guess, first starting up and they wanted to uh, catch her and I guess she's the only one who can deal with Shun's like crazy ass pitches. Yo, they just kidnapped their ass. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh damn, it's a damn ransom note, man. Somebody kidnapped Saori. It, what what's their purpose here? Why did they kidnap her? What's the reason for this? It's very it's very interesting. I think they want something. Yeah, man, Otari was a was a damn one man army, man. If I if I lost to somebody who was who was uh who was taking on a whole team all by himself, I would have my confidence shattered as well. いつ渡そうかと思ってたんだ。なんだそれ。神谷じゃねえか。あ。どう振り上げ。はあ。俺の形をみんなに残していくっていう遺言。マジ死亡振り上げ。やめなよ、しゅんくん。あ、そう逆
There's not really many rules in this in this game. It's mostly just like a free for all brawl and kind of just go with it. I mean, if they knew that they could easily beat the Minato tribe and it wasn't gonna be any like competition, why would they go out of their way to battle them like this? Just to prove that they were the best, I guess? This guy was in the opening too, the guy who looked like Kamiya, right? Who is this guy? He's so random, he looks like him too. So is this gonna be Shun Kamiya's replacement, I guess? He kinda just looks like a blue-haired Kamiya for some reason. こっちは別に構わねえけどな。このまま楽なゲームで終わってもよ。で、港のお猿さんたちは、<笑><笑> Oh my god, these guys are actually going into the manholes and are and are navigating the, the arena through the manholes? That's very interesting and very very smart. Now Taig is actually gonna do something. I can't wait till next episode. Kazuki Ayama. Okay. I think that's what he said, right? Kazuki Ayama. So, that was Tribe 9, Episode 4. Kamiya is dead. That was the highlight of this episode. I am in utter shock. I don't believe it. I don't think he's actually dead. I think this is a ploy. I think he faked his death or something. Cause like, come on man. You're really gonna kill- take off Kamiya in episode 3? Why even introduce him in the damn first place? Ugh. This show really really wants to make- pull- tug at your heartstrings man. I hate when shows introduce characters that aren't going to be like- important later down the line or later down the next couple of episodes because then it's just like what the hell was the point you got people falling in love with Shun Kamiya and then just like you rip it away from them okay but either way um this is a really good episode because even though Shun is gone you know he's dead if he actually is dead well we're, we're just going to I'm, I'm going to address this as if he's actually still gone without like no ploys or like theories or whatever but if we assume that he's still dead, you know, we have the Minato tribe kind of being disbanded. They have no leader at the helm and all of them are basically essentially just no motivation, no confidence. Like that whole match that they're doing with the Ad Adachi tribe, that shit was just so... That shit was so that shit was messed, man. Cause they were like they had no confidence in themselves. They couldn't they couldn't figure out the ploy. If this Kazuki Ayama guy didn't come here, I think that's what his name is, or that's what he said. I'll figure it. I'll confirm it by next episode. But if he didn't come by and if he didn't do what he did here at, by essentially like um, showing them that these people were using the underground tunnels, like these guys would have would have lost like like really easily without having a single point. But now it's a turning point, so I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next episode and how we're gonna continue the battle because this is the first episode where we might have actually had a cliffhanger going into the next episode with with this the plot still kind of being the same so i'm really excited to see episode five i can't wait for that but with that video though with that uh, with that note though we're gonna leave the video off here today 
I will see you guys around. I wanted to just say thank you guys all for the support you've been giving me. You know, the, the climate, the climb is going. It's getting there. Gonna keep grinding. Gonna keep putting these out. This show specifically, I gotta keep grinding more because I've been slacking. So stay tuned for more Tribe Night episodes going forward after that. But with that note, though, I will see you guys around. Peace out. Bye.